Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Breaking news out of Kansas City. This is insane. Kansas City, Missouri. Friends and family of a utility worker who was shot and killed on the job are still trying to come to terms with what happened. Jonathan Porter was shot and killed Tuesday morning near 9th and Brooklyn. His family and friends said it was all because he refused to give his killer a cigarette, KSHB Local News reported. He was way too young to die, was about to become a father next month and had recently moved to Kansas City to work for Infrasource, a subcontractor for Spire Energy. He's a really good kid. If you needed anything, he would help you out and for somebody to come up and shoot him because he wouldn't give them a cigarette, it's just mind-blowing and saddening. Jordan Schwartz, Porter's friend. Tuesday morning a black male in a blue hoodie approached the men at the work site, he approached Porter and asked for a cigarette. Porter, who doesn't smoke, told the man he couldn't help him. The community should be outraged and demanding justice, most instead hide from the truth. This young man was working and these men and women who do this job have to work extremely hard to provide the civilians with electricity. I truly hope people have had enough of this and start demanding justice and the right to open carry. The passerby walked away and then turned around and shot him, police told Porter's mother, Lindy Porter. 23-year-old Jonathan Porter dies on the way to the hospital, all because a scumbag criminal was denied a cigarette. Infrasource said in a statement Wednesday it's offering grief counseling to all of its employees in the Kansas City area. Infrasource construction sites generally have either private security or a sheriff deputy on site, due to the areas these hard-working men and women have to perform their job. For whatever reason, there was no security on the site as of yet. The company has also established a memorial fund through the United Way of Greater Kansas City. Porter's mother wishes the gunman had known Porter, because then he surely wouldn't have pulled the trigger she said. His smile would light up the room, he was just perfect. Everybody who knew Jonathan absolutely loved him. He was just the sweetest boy. Porter grew up in Appleton City, about 80 miles south of Kansas City. As a child, he'd often pull his mother into spontaneous dancing, no music or anything, Lindy Porter said. He loved art, and his mother recently found some of his old drawings hung up on a wall in his closet. Course I laughed at it at the time, but now it's something I'm never going to paint over. Lindy Porter said. Kansas City Star. It is common practice for companies that have to work in Kansas City to provide armed security for their employees. Kansas City is notorious about hiding their news, pushing their homicides into the shadows so that the rest of the nation is unaware of just how bad it is. What throws people off on the homicide numbers yearly, is KCK is literally split into two, there is Kansas City Kansas and Kansas City Missouri. For 2017 KCMO, Local Fox News reports that 149 people were killed in homicides this year, the highest total since a record 153 in 1993, at the height of killings fueled by crack cocaine and gangs. Nearly half of the city's 2017 homicides remain unsolved. There have been 208 homicides in the Kansas City, Kansas metro area in 2017. When will people wake up and realize that these thugs and scumbags need to be cleansed out? Law enforcement is a reactionary force, in other words law enforcement is called in after a crime has been committed. Why do people never ask, why do we tolerate these criminals and gangs? We know where they are, we know who they are, yet nothing happens. With violence and hate boiling over in our nation, everyone should be trained to conceal or open carry. God bless his family and friends, his co-workers and his unborn daughter. This is beyond a tragedy and senseless. Over a damn smoke. Train how you fight. Fight how you train. Do not be a victim. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.